Hey filmmakers, how many batteries do you have? Like a million, right? Some are proprietary, some are generic, but they all need to be charged. When I'm on the road and I have to charge batteries in a hotel every single night, it's just this crazy process of unplugging and plugging a ton of cables. So earlier this month, I set out to make a portable charging device that I could bring with me on the road. The idea was to create a charging apparatus that would fit inside of my hard case that I could use in a hotel, at a shoot, or even at home. So I got to work. I measured the dimensions of my case, bought some hardware, and started cutting the wood. I would like to take a second to note that I used plywood underlayment for this build, and although it was really affordable and it was a medium that I really understood how to work with because it was wood, it had a tendency to splinter because it's not a solid piece of wood. If I was to do it again, I would definitely spend a bit more money and look into some other materials, maybe not even wood, maybe use some type of plastic. I ordered some pretty specific parts in order to customize the build. A power supply, transparent pencil bags to store my charged batteries, and of course, a power strip. I actually spent a lot of time searching for the right power strip. I needed three standard plugins minimum and four USB slots for my design. I ordered a second power supply, some short 90 degree angle wall plugs, and four 90 degree angle micro USB cables. After trying multiple layouts, I found one that would work for me. So I busted out the Velcro. For this build to work, I needed to create space between the two pieces of wood for the wires. I did so by having a bolt go through the wood where I put a nut, then the second piece of wood, and then a final nut to keep it all in place. There you go, space for the wires. Then I drilled a hole for my micro USB cables. At this point, I'm actually really excited. It's starting to feel like it might actually work. Back to Velcro. I used a lot of Velcro in this build. After loosely inserting some cables, I realized that it was time for, you guessed it, more Velcro. That is more like it. On the back side of the first piece of wood, I laid out the wires and secured them with electrical tape. Then, I fastened the second piece of wood, sandwiching the wires in between. After a lot of finagling, I came to the realization that my wires didn't have enough space to go from the power strip to the gap between the two pieces of wood. So, I made a gap. Much better, now they can actually pass through. There you have it, my battery bay build. I love this thing. Like, I did not realize how much I needed it in my life. I just go to set, go home, plug in one thing, boom, they all light up, perfect. Subscribe on YouTube, like it, share it, whatever your version of support is, I really appreciate it. Say bye to everyone. Say bye to everyone. <laughs>